Hey, favor. favor. See, you wouldn't in Wednesday night Bible study, so you don't know what's going on. And you are missing it, man. Hey, hey favor. Hey. The rest of them out there is wondering, what does that mean? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Take advantage of every opportunity you can get to hear what God is saying. And we'll be back Wednesday night talking to Hey, favor. Hey. What's happening? And somebody, who is he talking to? Hey, I'm walking in the favor of God. That's Wednesday night. I'd encourage you to be here because this is our year of jubilee, a great year. And by all means, we'll have the Holy Ghost meeting tonight. Five o'clock, the glory of the Lord will fall over an admin building. You want to be here, if you get your late, you may have to stand outside. Because it's going to be a plaque. Because the word is out. The Holy Ghost is down, St. Peter's. Yeah. I had a man yesterday told me, he said, I'm going to be there tomorrow night at 5 o'clock. Is that what time to start? I said, aren't you a pastor? He said, yeah, but I'm going to still be there. <laughs> so St. Peter's, you come in here late tonight, you may miss it. The place will be packed. Amen? Yeah. Say, the Holy Ghost is going to fall tonight. Oh, the glory of the Lord is up on this house. Father, we lift our hearts to you this morning, and we're forever grateful, we're forever thankful for the wisdom of God, for the ability of God that you have given us all. And you call us all out of darkness into your marvelous light. So give us understanding of the scripture that we may walk in the ways of God in Jesus' name. Again, angels on assignment through the spirit, the water, and the blood. This, you know, angels are ministering spirits. They're assigned to you by God to minister to you and for you. Hallelujah. This is what the Bible says in Psalms 34, verse number 7. The angels of the Lord encampeth about them that fear God and deliver them. Now, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 12, 13, the duty of every man is to fear God and to keep his commandments. And when you follow through with fearing God, reverencing God, keeping God's commandments, your angels will work on your behalf and bring to pass God's perfect will for your life. Now, Mark 16, 16, Jesus said, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Today, I'm going to teach you how the heavens are given or open unto you and how to get angels involved in your life to bring to pass the will of God. Angels has to be involved in your life for God's will to be brought to pass. And every born-again believer has angels assigned to them, not angel, but angels plural, Amen. to carry out God's will. They're warring angels. They're warring spirits. And they war on your behalf when you fulfill what God commands. And the duty of every man is to fear God, reverence God, honor God, respect God and his word, and keep his commandments. And when you do that, your angels will work on your behalf. And everything that God created you for, a purpose that happened in your life, it will come to pass. Now, Satan opposes us. He opposes the will of God. But if God is for us, and God has assigned angels to confront the demonic spirits that will oppose the will of God for your life. You can't get to where God called you to without the help of the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and God's heavenly host, which is the angels of the Lord. Now, always remember, you and we are part of the heavenly host, too. So we all have to work together. Amen. So let's start out. And again, I think you're going to learn some things here this morning and make you want to get baptized again and make you want to obey God because there is something good's going to happen to you. Jesus of Nazareth is going to pass your way. For eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him, but he revealed those things unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yea, even the deep things of God. There are things that God desires to do in your life beyond your comprehension, but you do have a part to play. In everything, there's a God with part and there was a man with part. God will do his part in the heavens, but we have to do our parts here in the earth. When the heavens and the earth is working together, you become an unbeatable foe. Amen? Amen? Now let's look into the scripture and find out God's will for our life and how God will make his will come to pass. Whether you're a businessman, household head, church, whatever your assignment is, God wants you to prosper. Amen. 
He made that a priority. He said he wish above everything that you'll prosper and be in him, even as your soul prospers. Amen. I'm glad to have my grandson with me. Just stand up, Justin. Stand up, Jerry. Bless God. Turn around. Let him see what a good-looking hug looked like. No, oh, that ain't a good. Turn around, Jerry. Let them, let those little young girls see what a good hug looked like. I grabbed them this morning and I just hugged them and I got, I think it's seven grandsons, good kids. Let me see, it was Ricky, Jake, Justin, Jared, JJ, Hampton. I got Jake. It's six, so I seven. And I got three granddaughters. I got a lot of guys in my family and they all are destined for greatness and i was so blessed when my son james jr brought his son down here kneel at the altar before god present those boys to god and that's the patriot of this family i just come to stood behind him presenting my son and my family and my seed to god i'm going to ask every man bring all of your sons to this altar and present them to god i'm going to ask every mother Bring your daughters to this altar and stand over them. And you put them on their knees and you present them to God. Because when you present something to God, that means you're consecrating them unto the Lord. And when God get involved in our life, whoa. When God get involved in our life, whoa. God always needs someone to represent him on high, in higher places. And while I was praying, I said, God, take my grandkids. Take my son. I prayed the same prayer for the members of this church. God, take them to the highest level. Now, you have to qualify yourself to go there. Now, I'm going to say this. Don't take an offense. But see, those boys are qualifying themselves for something great. They're going to school. They're learning. They're in school. They're in college. They're learning. So if they didn't go to college, they would put God on limit. They would put a limit on how far God can take them. But the fact that they are making education a priority at a young age. Now, some of you old dudes, it's too late, but it's not over for you. But while you're young, I want, to, I want you to encourage your children. Get back in school. Go back to school and learn as much as you can so that you can qualify yourself, qualify yourself before God.